So welcome, my name is Dennis Ball, and I have the absolute privilege and honor to serve as the Recruit Programs Coordinator here at the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy. And I will serve as your Master of Ceremonies today for today's Career Recruit graduation. I'd like to welcome our families and friends that are here on campus. Um, and to those family and friends that cannot be here, this event will be taped and will be available on YouTube sometime later this afternoon um, for, for those, for, so you can view and view and view for, for posterity, all right? Christina Mitchell is sitting here and she'll make that happen. Uh, just be cognizant when you're taking photographs of your, your graduating recruit, just don't stand in front of the camera, otherwise <coughs> we'll see a lot of back. All right, we good with that? All right. So on behalf of State Fire Marshal John Davin and the men and women of the, the, the Department of Fire Services, welcome to the commencement exercises for graduating class BW26 of the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy's Career Recruit Training Program. At this time, I'll ask you to please welcome me, join me in welcoming uh, the, our presiding officer for today, State Fire Marshal John Davin, accompanied by the official party. Join me as we now welcome the Chiefs of the Department of today's graduating recruits. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could please stand for the entrance of class BW24 in the posting of our national colors. Ladies and gentlemen, class BW26. Uh oh, whose phone's ringing? <laughs> so I'm. I'm <laughs> if you were to recruit, something bad, very, very bad would happen to you right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, class BW26 was led in by Steve Sweeney of the Quincy Fire Department. He's representing the Boston Firefighters uh, Pipes and Drums. Thank you, Steve. If you could remain standing for our national anthem. Oops. Can you see?
I'd ask you to remain standing for our invocation being delivered by Chaplain Bloom. Chaplain. Let us pray. Gracious God, we ask your blessing upon all the families, the communities, and the staff of, of the academy. We ask your blessing upon them. We give you thanks for their willingness to serve so well. We now ask your blessing for this gathering, that we may remind ourselves of the commitment of compassion and collaboration and courage so embodied by this class. We ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Get yourself comfortable. So I'd like to take a moment to, quit, uh, to introduce the stage party. So the Department of Fire Services is a vital public safety agency that works to keep our communities safe. We provide firefighter training, obviously, public education, fire prevention, code enforcement licensing, fire investigation, hazardous uh, material responses, and incident support throughout the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The person entrusted to lead the Department of Fire Services is our State Fire Marshal, John Davin. <laughs> to the State Fire Marshal's left, the Director of the Massachusetts Fire Academy, Mr. Jeffrey Wynn. Representing the Massachusetts Corps of Fire Chaplains is Chaplain Gary Bloom of the, not the Plymouth, the Bridgewater Fire <laughs> Oh, Plymouth, and Plymouth, right? <laughs> Sorry about that, Chaplain. I know you a long time, right? He's not coming back. So I ask for forgiveness. I ask for forgiveness. Thank you for your service, vital service. Representing the Massachusetts Fire Training Council, and that's our governing body, is Chief Frank Baresi of the Rehoboth Fire Department. <laughs> Long-standing career recruit programs assistant coordinator, Mr. Michael Moriarty. <laughs> Long-standing senior instructor, Mr. Robert Harrison. Couple of quick thanks just before we get going. So every organization has people that work in the background who make this place work. I just want to say a very, very quick thank you to our, uh, our campus administrative assistant, Lisa Rose, and our program administrative assistant, uh, Kerry Marcotte. Thank you guys. <laughs> quick thank you to the instructors and the support staff, the recruits, this agency, and the citizens of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts truly benefit from the wealth of knowledge and the professionalism that these instructors and support staff bring to the table every day, every day. They're all fire service professionals. The staff strives to bring their best to this drill yard. Our standard, our standard. Amateurs train until they get it right. Professionals train until we can't get it wrong. The staff absolutely believes in these words and by their actions and efforts, these recruits sit here today prepared to meet the challenges of the job. So thank you. So at this, at this moment, it's my absolute honor and privilege to introduce our State Fire Marshal, John Davin, for a few words. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ball. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Distinguished guests, chiefs, and esteemed graduates. And I'd also like to re uh, recognize uh, State Representative Marcus Vaughn, who's with us in attendance. Thank you for your attendance, sir. Today we gather to celebrate this pivotal moment as these recruits embark on a career in the fire service. Class BW26, let me be the first to welcome you to the best job in the world. Although I'm proud to serve as your state fire marshal today, 25 years ago I knew very little about firefighting when I walk through these same doors. I credit this institution for providing countless opportunities for me to develop my skills, expand my knowledge, and challenge myself. 
I wholeheartedly believe in this system and am committed to ensuring that Massachusetts firefighters have access to the highest quality training, state-of-the-art equipment, exceptional instructors so that you can best serve the citizens of the Commonwealth. Together, we will protect our communities through professionalism, dedication, integrity, and training. The past 10 weeks have given you a very basic understanding of the tactics and strategies you will need to keep yourself, your fellow firefighters, and your community safe. Your learning is not coming to an end, but rather it's just beginning. You must continue to train throughout your career. Come back here again and again to take classes. Ask questions, go to conferences, read, inquire about what other departments are doing around the country. You owe it to yourself, your department, and your community to be the best firefighter you can. Although we never know what our next call will be, I can assure you that no two days will ever be the same. Gone are the days that firefighters just battle fires. This is an all hazards occupation that will challenge you to think on your feet and solve real world problems under the most difficult conditions. In one shift, you may respond from everything from an alarm activation, a medical emergency, motor vehicle accident, or a chemical spill. You'll conduct fire drills, install car seats, check smoke alarms, and give tours to aspiring firefighters. I hope you proudly wear the Maltese cross on your shoulder, as it is known around the world as a symbol of protection and a badge of honor. Your presence alone will offer hope to strangers on their worst day and bring calm in the midst of chaos. Your community has placed an enormous amount of trust in you. Honor that promise and never ever do anything to jeopardize it. There's no doubt that this is a difficult job, both physically and mentally. I implore you to stay in shape. Continue your physical training. A fit body will serve you when you need it the most. Equally as important, take care of yourself mentally. Get away from the job and do things you enjoy. Spend time with your family, take a vacation, slow down. The job will be here when you get back. Firefighting is not for the faint of heart, but it is deeply rewarding, honorable, and exhilarating. You'll never ever be bored or lonely. You'll work as a team and you'll live as a family and you'll forge friendships that'll last a lifetime. Thank you, Career Recruit Class BW26, for answering the call to serve. On behalf of the Massachusetts Department of Fire Services and the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you, and I wish you a safe and rewarding career. Thank you. So at this time, we'd like to prevent the Outstanding uh, Recruit Award. The class uh, BW26 is the Richard N. Bangs Award for the Outstanding uh, Recruit. Uh, I'd like to invite uh, Chief uh, Frank Baresi, as well as uh, Mr. Jeffrey Wynn, the Director of the Fire Academy, up to present the award. So, thank you for the meeting. Congratulations. Richard M. Bangs was the chairman of the Massachusetts Fire Training Council for many years. Upon his retirement, the Training Council voted to name the Outstanding Student Award in his name and in honor. The recruit training curriculum is designed to prepare, train, and evaluate students in the basic skills of the firefighting profession. This course is demanding both academically and physically, and completing it is an accomplishment worth of recognition. In each class, there was one student selected who has excelled in the training program, and this student is named the outstanding student of the class. This award is based upon the student's total academic score, successful achievement in both academic and practical skills, testing, and evaluations. Thank you, Chief. So you're all winners here, but there can only be one that gets the award. <laughs> so I'd like to invite to the stage Chief Michael Wynn, Com Fire Department, to join us. Spoiler alert. <laughs> we are pleased to present the Richard N. Bangs Award to the outstanding student of recruit class BW26, the firefighter Jack Tuey Bedford of the Comm Fire Department. Come on up here.
Well done. That's awesome. Family. Family. You got a good family. I did. Smile Really? Really? Uh, I'm so sad. You have our best clothes. <laughs> Sunday best. All right. Awesome. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's awesome. Congratulations. So as introduced earlier, I'm uh, Jeff Wynn. I'm the director of the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy. And I'm looking around the room, and I think I'm going to take a few minutes here to provide some inspiring words on this beautiful, beautiful Friday before the Labor Day break. But then I think of a better idea. And Chief, with your permission, uh, maybe we bring uh, Firefighter Tui Bedford back up here to say some inspiring words for everybody. Thank you very much. That's uh, a little cruel, but uh, <laughs> I'll keep it real quick. I just want to say uh, thank you to our departments who've given us this opportunity. Thank you to all the instructors, crib staff, and all the administrators that are, uh, you know, make it possible to run here. Um, and I also want to thank all the students as well. I think we had an excellent class. We all got along real well. We had a ton of fun. So thank you very much. Awesome. Tell me the truth, how long have you been working on this? Uh, 27 years, sir. <laughs> really? If you were working on that for 27 years, you'd have something like Mr. Moriarty. <laughs> yeah, different to that. I'd take care of that. <laughs> All right. All right. So it's now time to uh, present the diplomas. Um, I'd like to ask uh, the, the Mr. Moriarty and Mr. Harrison to call up to call the roll. Um, friends, family, Photographs are absolutely welcome. Please come up to the, the, the line here, the invisible line. Take your photographs. Uh, make yourself comfortable. It's your day, okay? We good? Uh, before we get going, I'd like to just acknowledge uh, any veterans in the room. Please stand, acknowledge yourself. Veterans. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you for this, your service. We acknowledge our veterans every Friday. Does anybody know why we do that? And, what, and, and how do we acknowledge the veterans? What do we do in the fire service? Red shirts, sure, right? Red, recognize everyone deployed. Recognize everyone deployed. So thank you for your service. Law enforcement. Any law enforcement in the, in the room? Law enforcement? All right. All right, sit down. <laughs> All right, already. Double dipper, huh? <laughs> Double dipper. All right, tough job, tough job. Thank you so much. Gentlemen? <laughs> Thank you. Fellas. Uh, before we get started on the roll, I'd just like to acknowledge a couple of groups. Uh, first of all, thank you to the family and friends of the recruits uh, for your sacrifices, for picking up the slack when they weren't around. Uh, greatly appreciated. So, uh, nice job. Because without you, they wouldn't have done it. Also, I'd like to thank the sea of blue that surrounds the room. Uh, thank you, brothers and sisters, for your support. <laughs> All right, let the games begin. Remember now, if you have your firefighter coming up here, make sure you grab pictures. Make sure you come up on the stage so we can take some pictures of you, okay? All right, here we go. From the Bourne Fire Department, Chief David Cody. Graduating firefighter, Ivan Brito. Hey, you 
you chill. Come on up. Hey. Get up there. I'd like to invite to the stage Lieutenant Philip Tura. He is the father of our next recruit. <laughs> Graduating firefighter Jacob Tura. From the Canton Fire Department, Chief Wendell Roby. <laughs> Graduating firefighter, Ronan O'Manny. I haven't called you yet. <laughs> From the Centerville Arsenal, Marston Mills Fire Department, Chief Michael Wynn. Every day. Graduating firefighter, Jack Tui Bedford. From the Concord Fire Department, Chief Thomas Judge. I'd like to invite to the stage Chief William Miller from the Bellingham Fire Department. Graduating firefighter Adam Kaminsky Miller. From the Fairhaven Fire Department, Chief Todd Carrera. <laughs> Graduating firefighter, 
Kyle Tavault. Graduating firefighter, Ian Thatcher. From the Hawkington Fire Department, Chief Gary Doherty. I'd like to invite to the stage Chief Angela Lawless from the Maynard Fire Department. <laughs> Graduating firefighter, Tyler Doolin. From the Natick Fire Department, Chief Jason Fersky. I'd like to invite to the stage firefighter medic Stephanie Creighton. Graduating firefighter Fernando Francois. From the Plainville Fire Department, Chief Richard Ball. <laughs> Graduating firefighter, David Silva. Yeah. <laughs> 
From the Revere Fire Department, Chief Christopher Bright. <laughs> Graduating firefighter, Joshua Arsenal. Graduating firefighter Robert Crow. Graduating firefighter Christopher DeRamo. Graduating firefighter John Duramo. I'd like to invite to the stage Deputy Chief Michael DiCarlo Jr. from the Revere Fire Department. <laughs> and also Firefighter Ryan DiCarlo from the Revere Fire Department. Graduating firefighter Leanne DiCarlo.
I'd like to invite to the stage firefighter Michael Tyler Stewart from the Revere Fire Department. Graduating firefighter Devin Tango. From the Rockland Fire Department, Chief Scott Duffy. Graduating firefighter, Brianna Gerard. Graduating firefighter Petros Pologitis. Somerset Fire Department, Chief Jameson Barrows. <laughs> Graduating firefighter, Daniel Goodman. From the Westboro Fire Department, Chief Patrick Purcell. <laughs> Graduating firefighter, Megan Sullivan. Thank you. 
from the Yarmouth Fire Department, Chief Enrique Arisque. Graduating firefighter Stephen Bay. Graduating firefighter Quantez Franklin. BW26, will you please stand? About face, if you can. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you class BW26. No more recruits, they are now full-fledged firefighters. You guys can sit down. <laughs> nice. You see it, guys. You ready? You sure? Absolutely. You sure? All right, stand by. All right, so we're going to uh, ask the uh, class spokesman to come up and say a few words, but each class is assigned a class spokesperson to represent the class, obviously. Uh, the, recruit, the recruit is selected by the assistant coordinators and is responsible for all communications uh, between the recruits and the academy staff. It's now time for me to call upon spokesperson for class BW26, recruit 208, Tyler Doolin, of the Hopkinton Fire Department. Good morning. I would like to thank you all for coming to support the graduating class, BW26. Our class represents many different types of departments from the city of Revere to villages on the Cape and many towns in between. Some would say this is the beginning of our careers, I would argue that the beginning of our careers was 50 days ago when we stood in this very room wondering what the next 10 weeks had in store for us all. 
Some of us had yet to even try on our turnout gear, while others had years of experience from call departments. Despite our variety of past experiences, we all had one thing in common. We were all here with the same goal. My name is Tyler Doolin, and I'm the class spokesperson for BW26. When I was asked to be the spokesperson, I said something along the lines of, I'm not a big public speaker, or I can't give a speech. I was reassured that it would be a quick speech and I would be fine. Over the past 10 weeks, we've received a lot of training. Unfortunately for me, public speaking was not included in our MFA training, so I'm gonna do my best here. I wanna start off by thanking our instructors and the support staff for all they have done for us over the past 10 weeks. I'm sure we gave you all at least a few good laughs over our time here, and I hope you're proud to see us graduate today. I also want to thank our families for supporting us. It's been a long 10 weeks, and I'm sure many of you bore the brunt of some potentially grouchy recruits at times. Last but not least, I want to thank our departments for not only supporting us throughout these 10 weeks, but also giving us this opportunity. 50 days ago, technically 78 if you count the weekends, we stood in this room, most of us complete strangers. Yesterday, on our day 49, we saw the next Bridgewater class come in for their day zero. Sitting in silence, looking around nervously, that was us just 10 weeks ago, and it's hard to believe. They told us on day zero we would all become friends. I'm not going to lie, on day zero, I remember thinking, no way. <laughs> I'll admit I was wrong. After many hours of instruction, some yelling, some mistakes, and lots of clarification, Bill, <laughs> we are all graduating as firefighters today. I'm pretty sure the amount of hose we packed during our time here could stretch from Revere to the Cape if we laid it all out. We threw ladders until we thought we would drop and did push-ups until we couldn't peel ourselves off the drill yard. We must be doing something right though, because despite the crib's many attempts to burn down the burn building, it's still standing. <laughs> the days felt long, but the weeks went by fast. We've had the opportunity to learn from some amazing instructors with a variety of experiences to share with us all. Everything we have learned over the past 10 weeks is just the beginning and the beginning of our careers, the beginning of our training and the beginning of our experiences. I can't wait to see where our careers take us and to my fellow recruits, I hope to see you all again, whether it be back here at the academy for a class or out in the field doing the job we have trained for over the past 10 weeks. As our instructors have told us throughout our time here, you cannot train too much for a job that can kill you and complacency kills. So remember, this is just the beginning of our training, not the end. Although when we leave here today, we will all go back to our respective departments, we will always be class BW26, and will always be just a phone call or text away should anyone need anything. Congratulations to my fellow recruits, and thank you everyone for coming to support us today. I would now like to call up the Drama Brothers to present our class plaque. Tyler, 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 you're the boss, right? So you get up here, all right? Uh, can I have a couple of instructors? Mr. Moriarty, could you please uh, draft a few white shirts, please? So there are many traditions within the fire service. Each class presents a plaque. Everybody, please, please. Uh, a plaque to the instructors. All right, it represents the class spirit and marks their efforts over the last 50 plus days. These plaques are displayed on campus and will serve as an inspiration for generations of firefighters to come. Take a couple photographs. <laughs> Yeah, you can go now. Right? <laughs> Thank you guys. Nice. Nice gift. So the class plaque size, we have very, very, very specific dimensional requirements. Purely because of real estate. We only have so much wall space. With the exception of one COVID class, I don't know how many years ago it was that, most of the class was from the class from the city of Riviera. <laughs> This is for you, Chief, and all you Revere guys out there, right? So I'm a neighbor, yes? So I understand Severe Revere. So they present their class plaque after we gave them the, the, the dimensional requirements of 18 by 24, right? No more, no less. We go with that. What did we get presented with, Chief? 
Look around the room. That thing up there. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're lucky it's not hanging next to a bathroom someplace. <laughs> I lost, I, my head exploded. My head exploded. But it was from Yvier. I have a love and affection. Nashua has to stick together, right? The Nashua guys have to stick together. That's where it's going to stay until the buildings come down and we got to find a place for this place. So it, it, it may find a place in a, in a bulldozer or something on the, on the way out of here. I, I would never do that to you, Chief. I would never do this. I love you guys. All right? 24 by 18. <laughs> Am I clear? We go with that? Today, tomorrow, until whenever. Same dimensions. We good? Must be the public schools. It must be the public schools up there, huh? <laughs> yeah, feet. Yeah, 18 feet. All right. Thank, thank you, Chief. I'm sorry. I, I digress. I digress. So I'd like you to please stand and ask uh, Chaplain Bloom to deliver the benediction. Once again, could we be in a time of prayer? Almighty and most gracious God, we thank you for this day of celebration. We thank you for the commitment that this class has made to community and to the families who are here represented. So we ask your blessing upon all, the communities that are represented, the families, the class themselves. Keep them safe, O oh Lord. Watch over them and guide them so that they may fulfill their service to you and to our country, to our community, and to our families. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain. To the members of Class BW26, we wish you a long, healthy, and safe career. We also wish to thank you for your com commitment to your communities, to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The ceremony is now concluded. I ask you please to remain standing for the departure of our official party, followed by the chiefs of the department, and then Piper Steve Sweet will lead out uh, Class BW26. Class BW26, come to attention. Dismiss for your department duties. Congratulations.